Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on Pokemon Sword and Shield, and we have a little bit of new information about the game, specifically the wild areas. Now, the cover of the upcoming Pokemon guidebook by Koro Koro has come online and actually features a look at a poster that comes within the book. This poster features a map of the wild area in the game, which shows off the scope and size. Now, we've actually talked about this quite a bit before in our analyses. We actually looked at the footage and place where the camera angles were that we were looking so we could get a sense of the scale of the wild area, and this is basically just a quick version of that. Here's the entire wild area in the entire game, here's all the lakes, here's all the uh, different areas, and it's basically what we thought before. The key difference is that since this is a guidebook and it's going to be a poster, it seems to also list all of the different Pokemon that you can catch around the wild area, and looking at all the dots, we can't read any of it, but looking at all the dots, it is filled to the brim with all kinds of things to see, and in the sense of the game, this is a pretty massive area, and should have a lot to check out and do once you reach that portion. So yeah, not a whole lot to say, we've covered most of it before, but this just provides a better sense of scale, a better look at what we can expect from the wild area, and even though I wish it was a little bit clearer, it's still nice to have this as a resource, and it should be fun to explore all of this within Pokemon Sword and Shield. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments, and of course be sure to subscribe Subscribe to Game Explained for more on Pokemon and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.